Well, hello there, peeps. How you guys doing today? It is uh, 8.42 in the morning, 29 degrees in Big Bear Lake, California on February 10th, 2020. As I almost went over one of my motorcycles. Um, not one of mine. I gave that to my friend, actually. Um, okay, so we got a little more than I anticipated. I think they actually got their average what they predicted may be right um i said between three and six inches and you know what actually now that i'm looking at it it is about four inches five inches at least we're making fresh tracks right here guys oh hey so let's see here <laughs> gosh that's just crazy i'm gonna turn this on again this is gonna be loud for a minute you guys but and I can't see anything out this way. Let me roll this down a little bit. You guys see anything over there? Hey, look at that. Hey, come on. How about you? How about you? Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, dude. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Guys, because we haven't had snow in so long, I was just up all night, just laying down, watching it snow. It was just so beautiful, so beautiful. I couldn't sleep because I knew if I fell asleep, I wouldn't wake up for this early video. And I am on my rear right now. But I'm glad I can make these for you guys, man. And help keep you guys safer. I know this drive is getting redundant, but I hope it looks a lot different because of the uh, amount of snow. So I was supposed to go get a massage this morning right here at 8.30. But I had to take care of something, and you know what that something ended up being? This was one of them. I mean, it might not be the best channel out there, but it's definitely consistent. I love this vehicle, man. This is the 2019 Subaru Crosstrek for uh, for uh, all our new friends here. All three of you. <laughs> Seriously, like, I was like so stoked seeing that that we have like just over 6,000 subscribers here. That's just unbelievable. And then I, I started watching this other YouTuber who's got like 25 million people. I was just like, I'm just amazed. But if if anyone can help me out figure out a way to uh, add like a little philanthropy to this uh, this venture let me know because uh, it, if there are ways we can raise uh, money by helping to advertise some of these companies privately or if anyone wants to like somehow donate money um, like uh, I'll, I'll do whatever I can to get like professional escrow account, escrow accounts and stuff like like that I just want to be able to go around and uh, um, and I'll do it with, with my own money first, just so like people know I'm like serious, but, um, just to stoke people out because watching what this young kid does for so many people is just, just incredible. Um, and it's something I've always wanted to do. And I guess it just kind of, it's, I just needed to wait for someone to, to lead, I guess. I don't know why I couldn't take the lead myself, but it's a beautiful thing, guys, being able to give back and in spades and maybe even give back so much where it changes people's lives like like that's what i'd like to you know focus on on the and more aspect of this channel i mean trust me guys it's still going to be all weather but um it'd be nice to like take care of you guys man hook you guys up for always showing me so much love
seriously, I can't wait to go home and go to sleep. So I believe the snow is going to stop completely in about 45 minutes. So this is not the aftermath video. This is just still a, another update of the snowfall. However, the aftermath might come this afternoon. There's Bear Mountain, you guys. I know we, we see this like every road, but look at this one with all the snow. That looks pretty cool. We can't barely see anything over that mound of snow. That looks like Tony Montana's living room. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wanna be up there so bad but I am so tired. I am so tired. Oh, there's an accident right here. So years ago, when I brought my nephew Delaney up here, um, gosh, it, it was when like Eminem was like really, really big. So it was like 2001, 2002. Um, and uh, I was in my Mercedes ML 500 and right here is the only place that I almost crashed. Um, I lost control right here and I kept on sliding and sliding and I stopped like inches from that pole right there. I'll never forget that, that was so scary. Even though we weren't going fast, it was just like extraordinarily icy and uh, this just, you know, just wasn't working out for us. <laughs> but give yourselves a little bit extra time, you guys. Bring your chains with you. I wouldn't be surprised if chains are required on all routes right now. Actually, I'd be willing to bet they are. Or four wheel drive with snow tires. And that includes all wheel drive folks. So if you have like a Subaru or something like that, you'll be good. Just make sure your Subaru's tires look like snow tires or are similar to snow tires, like mutters and stuff. Because uh, in, these, in these types of temps, uh, I'm not trying to tell anyone to be shady. I'm just pointing something out. Like they aren't gonna get on their hands and knees and check all your tires. Um, um, they're just gonna give them a quick, quick glance. And with snow all over them it, and a lot of traffic, it just makes it more difficult. Um, if you have all-wheel drive, they usually just wave you right through. I'll tell you what, though. When I had the ML500, I had low-profile tires. Um, These are just really nice tires, and. Uh, when I switched them out to the BF Goodrich Mudders, or all, no, All Terrain, I'm sorry, the BF Goodrich All Terrains, like $1,200 tires. Um, I was sliding all over the road. It was incredible. I didn't get any grip. It was way worse than those low profiles that have like hardly any rubber touching the road and it's all rim. Um, she is me. Oh my gosh, this guy's lagging. You know what, we're gonna have to, uh, we'll turn up the next one. Oh, and we are a sliding. Oh, look at this. We're going to make some first tricks. Hey, now. Here we go. Stop. Game up. Go play. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so beautiful. No matter how tired I am, this is just always lovely and keeps me awake but I'm really dedicated to this for you guys man I love you guys a lot um, and thanks again for all the kind comments and phone calls that you guys made to me and everything the encouragement and stuff like a uh, man like like it, it really touched me and how much you guys care for me holy moly like a lot of you were called me up crying like uh saying that that like i make your days special and i can't leave this world like dude like oh my god you guys like really like my dumb ass <laughs> um thank you like it's uh, man I, I really think you guys deserve to feel arrogant about saving a person's life um 
I probably would have continued taking those things if it weren't for you guys. Yes, I got a good scare, but I've gotten scares in the past. Not that scary, but I've gotten scares in the past. And for some reason, I keep making it through it. Um, and I'm the older I get, I'm learning my lessons. You know, I stick my hand in the fire these days when I feel it burning and yank my hand out of the fire, I don't assume that it's not gonna burn the next time. I know it's gonna burn the next time so I don't stick my hand in that fire again. This guy's got his chains on, that guy's got his chains on. I ain't got my chains on. Oh my gosh. All right guys, the neighborhood looks so, so pretty right now so I thought you guys might wanna uh, take a little ride into my little neighborhood. Oh, hey. So if you look at the tire tracks here, yeah, we got about six inches of snow. Maybe even, maybe even close to seven. Yeah, about six inches. So you guys remember I said three to six, right? And it didn't it say a little bit more than that if you're above 6,000 feet? So I think we nailed it, guys. I'm not tooting my own horn because... I don't toot. I explode. <laughs> All right. Take care, you guys. Thanks again for everything. I really appreciate you guys big time. And uh, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Why don't you guys come up this weekend? Come up Sunday. I check into a mansion, and you guys are welcome to come hang out. Sunday, I check in at 4 o'clock. Bye. I'll see you soon. February 10th, 2020, Big Bear Lake, California.